Hello, this is Ike from Spotown London and today we are in northwest London. We are in the area known as Neesden and we have the Neesden station with the Jubilee line a 10 minute journey away. So we'll take the bus, six minute stops, six minutes walk away from the bus stop and from the bus stop we'll get to Neesden station in no time. Now as for travel time to central London, it's going to be 16 minutes from Neesden station all the way to Bond Street. Now, as for this house, we're going to be seeing one room and there are six in total, so let's go ahead and see it. So I've started off by the front door and outside of the front door It's a bit noisy, but you can see as we walk in the noise has gone. So here's the front corridor and in the front corridor we'll have the radiator, there's a mirror there and then we have some hooks over here to hang your jacket and then the steps are to the left as soon as you walk in. So now there are three bedrooms right here, here's the first one, second one and then the third one is to the right. The kitchen is in front of us. So it's tiled floor and also features a living room area around the corner to the right as well as access to the garden. So as for storage in the kitchen and appliances, there's a lot and it's definitely sufficient for you to cook whatever meal you may need to cook. So we can see we have the microwave and toaster to the right, we have the kettle and stove on this side with the oven underneath. There's a lot of cabinet space underneath here, as well as up above. And there are even more appliances on this side, as we do have the washing machine at the far end. We've got the sink, and then space underneath there to store cleaning products, or perhaps some bags. So we've got the sink on top, the garden, it's through one of these many windows that we can see. And then here's the dining table. So it's the kitchen and dining room area, excuse me. And here we'll have two fridges and freezer units. So we've got one there and then one to the right. Outside of the garden, There's also the doors to the right that leads to bedroom number three. And then an incredibly spacious garden. Lots of grass. We've got a bench here. And then there's also a line in case you need to dry your clothes after they're done in the wash. So there's also another bench down here to the right. Now moving on upstairs, we'll see the bedroom as well as the bathroom. So it's through here, the steps are carpeted and then there is a window in the stairway. And as for upstairs, we have bedroom four on the left. Straight ahead is the bathroom. This is, in fact, bedroom six, and we're gonna be seeing bedroom five in a moment. But first we'll see the bathroom. So the corridor we see was carpeted, bathroom tiled. We've got the radiator, toilet, sink and bathtub down at the far end. We've got a shelf for you to hang towels. And then here's the bathtub and we do have two windows and then the mirror above the sink so then there are three windows and actually one on this side as we walk in so we can see outside into the garden so finally we'll see bedroom five so this is it 
So as for this bedroom, we'll have a double bed, two windows that overlook the front entrance area. Underneath one of the windows we do have a radiator for heat. And as we step in and look around, we'll see there's an abundance of storage space. We'll have the built-in wardrobe, standalone wardrobe, there's a desk, and two chest of drawers with a chair in between them. So we'll see there's plenty of space here in the chest of drawers. Same thing in, the, in here. A standalone, we'll get one shelf up above. And then the space underneath with the rail to hang your clothes. And as for the built-in, we'll get a shelf down below and then the rail up above to hang your clothes. So a view of the room from this side looks like this. We can see the light up above and then the view outside of the window. So that's been it for this six bedroom house in the Neesden area. I've been Ike and I hope you've enjoyed this room and for more information make sure to check out spotterhome.com. Bye bye.